welcome to day 29 of Stay at Home with Stanley. So we've had some requests today for activities that people could perhaps do inside the home, if they're in a flat, perhaps haven't got a garden, or perhaps the dogs aren't as mobile. So I racked my brains, and one of the things I wanted to teach my dog to do, because we know he closes doors really beautifully now, is to take my sock off. Um, so I thought this would be a nice game because it's not too hard for the dog to do. Again, if a dog isn't that mobile, perhaps it's lying down a lot, um, or as I say, isn't feeling too um, too mobile, then this is a great game. So you want an old sock, I've got a really old one here. Something that's quite loose so it can come off my hand quite easily. I'm gonna start with it in my hand. I'm gonna have it quite loose like this, so there's a flop at the end. Um, and what I want him to do initially is just basically put his hand, his mouth, around the sock. Then I'm going to look for, he might just touch it very quickly, then I'm going to look for a bit more of a hold of it. Then I'm going to look for a little bit more pull, and eventually I'm going to look for that happening. So they're my stages. Once we've got pulling happening regularly, I could put that on my foot, and then I'll probably introduce the word just before he starts to pull, because we know that he's doing the behaviour. So every time he does what he wants, click or say your marker word, and then obviously throw a piece of food or give a piece of food away. So I'll show you what we're going to do. Come on in, Stanley. Okay, so floppy sock here. In his mouth, click, feed, okay, click. He's doing a little bit more pulling because he's done a little bit of this this morning. Click, your dog might just put the, the um, stock in its mouth, so don't worry if that happens. We're about two stages ahead, click. So we start to get to see a bit more movement as he moves back. So He's put it in his mouth, he's starting to put a bit more pull, click, a nice pull on there, lovely. So I might add a little bit of a good boy if he does that, because I want a bit more pull. Good boy, so I'm getting a bit more pull, okay? So now I want to see if he can pull it all the way off. Yes, well done. That's a good boy. Let's make sure you can see that. Hold on a minute, let's put it back on in my hand. So I've got it in my hand over here. Boop, boop, look at you. So I'll put it so you can see it. There you go, you can, see, you can see he took it all the way up, great. Okay, so we're really getting the pull. Now I know he's pulling, and each of these times you do it, repeat it five times at least to get five good repetitions before you go to the next stage. Oh, he says, I love this game. So this time what I'm gonna do is, because I know he'll pull it, as he starts to pull it off, I'm gonna add the word pull. So, pull, lovely. So we're adding the cue word as he's doing the action. So we'll do that again. Pull, lovely, little gentle pull, but he got it, and it's a nice, easy to get off sock. Pull, lovely, and click as he's doing the action. So we say the word just almost before he's about to do the behaviour, and then we click as he's doing it. Pull, lovely, okay. So we've got it off my hand really nicely. What I'm gonna do now is progress to doing exactly the same by putting it on my foot. Okay, ready? Pull, oh, he says I can't get hold of it. Lovely, so it took a little bit of time to get a grip on it, that's not a problem. So I didn't panic, just waited till he did it. So I'll show you again, pop it back on my foot. Okay, let's make sure you can see it on the camera. Pull. Lovely, and he probably just went out of shot as you can see. I'll do one more, there we go. Let's see if we can get you in shot, so you move along a little bit. Let's give him a little bit of food to keep him bothered while I get my, my sock on. Okay, that's the problem, he's so keen to do it, so pull. Lovely, so perfect, we got that. Now that is literally, we've done about five minutes before we started to film, just to see if he was used to doing this. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll make the sock go a bit more uh, fully onto my foot, but I want him to succeed. So I'll probably do quite a lot at that stage where he's pulling. I'll then be able to add the word just before he's about to pull. So I'll put it on and say the word pull, even when he hasn't touched the sock and he should pull it straight off. Again, make sure it's a nice floppy sock that's easy to come off. Don't make it a really tight pair of your walking socks. Um, but he's really enjoying this game, and at least it's getting him used to pulling something, which is what I want him to do. Later on, I might want him to say, pull a rope or something, but if I've got this now, you can see he's just going, can I have that? Um, old sock has got a hole in, so it doesn't really matter, is a really good one to use. So, taking a sock off was quite a nice little game to play, and we thought that would be a bit of fun. Um, we're going to do a little bit of videoing later on, because we're going to get the agility equipment out and do a bit more agility, perhaps incorporating some of the different exercises we've been doing in the last week. So have fun with pulling socks off. Hopefully that's a nice game to do if you're, if you're stuck inside. Um, and we will think of some more scent games as well, um, but we thought that would be a bit of fun. So have fun and we'll see you later. Bye. Well done, Stanley. What a clever boy. Do you want the sock? What a clever boy.